So what is going on everyone? Welcome along to another video here on the channel. My name's Ash. You'll know me as Brahma18. If you're new to the channel and new to the series, welcome along. Thank you very much for joining me. In this series, I show you the best players to sign for a position depending on the tactic. Today, we are looking at the best centre-back to sign for possession-based systems. If you haven't watched any of the other videos from this series, then please do go and check them out. We've looked at the likes of strikers and wingers, etc. So something I think you'll really enjoy. I'll go through very soon and explain just sort of how we do things, but very briefly, um, we select a very small selection of players, very fine-tuned, very requirement-specific, based on um, a bunch of required traits, um, and then split them into overall rating ranges. So we'll talk about that very, very shortly. Just a quick notice before we do get into it, if you haven't done so already, check out my Patreon. The link is down below. Get access to a range of fantastic perks, including exclusive tactics videos, scouting package, where I give you a whole range of scout reports on a whole range of players. Uh, based on hundreds and even thousands of hours of my own analysis. You also have access to behind the scenes videos, early access, so many perks, I can't list them all. So please do go and check them out. I think you really will enjoy it. Also, if you enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notifications every time I upload. On that note, let's get into it. So first things first then, let me talk you through the overall rating groups very quickly. We have 60 to 74, we have 75 to 82, and 83 to 89. The reason why we split them into three groups is just so depending on your requirements. If you're playing as a lower rated team, maybe you're looking for lower rated players who are cheaper. So that's why we have 60 to 74. And on the other end of the scale, we only go to 89 because by the time you've got 90 plus rated players, you shouldn't need me to really suggest them. You should just be able to slot them in. Um, so that's how we do things. Right, in terms of centre-backs or possession tactics, what are we looking for? What are the required traits that I've searched on in order to find these select amount of players? Well, first things first, we're looking for jumping. Naturally, obviously, you want that as a centre-back, but even more so in this um, sort of system because... As a possession team, you're generally going to be pressing the opposition when you lose the ball and when you don't have possession. And you may force them to go long. And so as a result, if they're going long to a striker, that then comes to the likes of your centre-backs to try and win that ball in the air. So as a result, jumping becomes even more important because it's, probably, it's going to be even more required outside of set-piece and crossing situations as well. We're also looking for passing, naturally. You're going to be looking not only short passing, but maybe long passing as well, as not only will they be looking to play the ball out from the back, but also maybe make those sort of team-splitting long balls, big switches of play as well. So you look for everything within that passing range. On the top of that, we've got stand tackle. Again, I know that's self-explanatory for a centre-back, but something that's emphasised even more over the likes of slide tackle because as a possession-based team, again, talk about that pressing, that pressing approach. You're going to be looking to step up, win the ball aggressively, try and come out cleanly and regain position, possession. You're also going to be looking to maybe do aggressive interceptions in some um, sort of possession-based systems. And so as a result, it becomes even more important that they can try and win the ball back cleanly and regain possession. On top of that, we're looking for pace. Again, you're going to be looking to play a high line in that sort of high pressing or highly possession tactic. So as a result, if you do get balls played in behind, you're going to want them in order to to be able to, to catch up to that and deal with that. On top of that, we have marking. I know that's self-expansion for a centre-back, but why I've specified it in this one, in particular for a possession tactic, is because when you're playing, say, a defensive formation, a defensive system, all your team is going to drop off. The block will drop. As a result, you're probably going to go a bit more zonally orientated, whereas in a possession system, you might be looking to go man-to-man -man more because you've got your block further up the pitch. So it just becomes even more important in these possession based systems. Finally, we have ball control as you're looking for your centre-backs to bring the ball out from the back and carry it forward as well. So now that we've got the required traits out of the way, let's talk about the players. Starting off with the 60 to 74 overall rating range. We've got Miles Robinson, Atlanta United centre-back, 24 years age, 73 overall but 80 potential. I've actually signed him previously in a career mode um, and really enjoyed playing with him. So he's a really good option, nice and cheap as well. As is Umar Saleh, 
At 21 years old, he's got 72 overall and 82 potential. Six foot four, very, very physically imposing. Out of that, uh, that sort of Red Bull Academy, um, as so many really good, really physically talented uh, defenders are as well. Um, from France, as are the rest of the centre backs in this page. And as I was doing the research, something I noticed is that France just so many great defenders. It's just ridiculous like an embarrassment of riches um it's just crazy absolutely crazy they're stocked in that position because they've also got the likes of andy pelmard 71 overall but 83 potential again from france 21 years of age currently playing for fc basel yes he is smaller but in these possession based systems we've seen a lot of teams be successful despite having smaller center backs i think the likes of barcelona with javier mascherano and puyol etc that sort of thing We've also got Nicholas Kotzer, 74 overall, 81 potential at 22 years of age. He's got growing to do as well. And he's also from France and playing, playing his trade in Montpellier. Again, a little bit smaller, but as we specified, you know, you can get away with that with good jumping traits. So what about the mid-range, 75 to 82? We've got Yuri and Timber, currently playing for Ajax, 20 years of age. A lot of room for growth there. His potential is 88 and um, you can see why really, really good signing. Definitely my favourite on this page. Lucas Klosterman is another one I really like. 80 overall and can still grow even at 25 years of age to uh, 84. You know, with dynamic potential, giving or taking a little bit. He's at Leipzig, again, out of that Red Bull kind of academy mould in Germany. And he's a bit taller as well. He can also play at either fullback. So he's very, very good for this sort of system. We've got Diego Carlos, who despite the fact he's 28 years old, he can apparently still grow to 84 potential. He's currently at 82. Playing for Sevilla in Spain from Brazil. A lot of rumours in real life about him leaving and stuff, but it's never quite come to fruition. They've got a couple of really good centre-backs, as we'll come on to in the next page as well. Another really good centre-back is Jeremiah St. Juiced, who, again, watchers of my Bruce Dortmund career mode series on the channel, Will have seen me play with him because I did sign him as well and he was absolutely fantastic. So, so fast for a centre-back. It is untrue. And he can still grow up to 80 potential and beyond. Pretty sure I got him above that, to be honest. He's age 24, again, playing in mines, but from the Netherlands as well. So finally then, let's talk about the 83 to 89. And I mentioned how Sevilla have got a couple of really good centre-backs. Not only do they have Diego Carlos, they also have Jules Koundé as well. 22 years of age, 89 potential, but currently 83. A lot of rumours with the likes of Chelsea and stuff, but he's still at Sevilla, still do, going strong. Again, 5 foot 11, a little bit smaller, but very good jumping traits. We've also got Eder Militao, 83 overall and 90 potential. We know what we get from him, very, very highly touted. Again, you're seeing a lot of these players now playing in Spain or from France. So again, just something to bear in mind, I guess. Um, we've got David Alaba, again from Real Madrid, 29 years old. We know he's obviously a converted fullback to centre-back. And so as a result, that makes him even more sort of suited to his possession-based style because we know how good he is on the ball. We know he can do this whole range of things. And at 29, he's in his peak years now. So you're looking to bring him into a team who, you know, are ready to win now. 85 overall, um, so very, very good. And finally, we have Presnel Kimpembe. 83 overall and 87 potential, even at 26 years of age. Quite surprised, actually. I thought he was a bit younger than that, but I've just always felt he's young. But he's really sort of kicking on in years now and starting to approach his peak years. He's at PSG. But again, they sort of rotate their, their centre-backs and stuff. We don't really know what their best two is so maybe you could look at that and say well as a rotation option could you bring him in as as your first team option he's six or two again from france and preferred foot left as well which is always really handy considering obviously the majority um of center backs are right footed and so with that being said it is time to round it off there if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more subscribe Ring the bell so you get notifications every time I upload and leave a like. If you've got any suggestions for players who you think should be in this list, who you think would suit the possession-based system, then make sure to get at me in the comments section. Also, give me suggestions for other videos you'd like to see in the future. I will really welcome that. Make sure to go and check out my Patreon. The link is down below. Lots of great perks on there. As is the link to my Twitter. Give me a follow on that as well. On that note, we're going to round a video up there. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you soon.